Okay guys, greetings, I'm Eric Kucharski and it's time to go garage selling again. We just stopped off at racetrack to get our drinks and now we're going to go find some stuff. Okay. I'll see you guys at the garage sales. Woo. Just stopped at that garage sale right back there. Um, did not find anything as of yet, but it's only the first stop. It's still early, it's like 8 something. We, we got out, not, not quite as early as I wanted because Josh wouldn't get up. No, because of you. But, uh, but yeah, we 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 definitely got out earlier than than usual. You got here at eight. Woo! Just stopped at an estate sale action. Estate sale on like kind of the rich side of town. Um, we were overlooking the water when we looked out one of the windows. Did you find anything, Josh? Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna go to our next stop. Hopefully, they'll find something there. This was older person, so obviously no games. And I'll see you guys at the next stop when we get okay. there. Yeah. So. We just stopped at Pawn Max 2 and I bought a Holy Grail. We're gonna start off with the basics. We got Terraria. We got Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Game of the Year Edition, whatever. It's got both of them on it. Um, technically, there's two games in here that are good. We got the Bioshock 1 and 2 combo uh, collection, Ultimate Rapture Edition. That's got both one and two on there. We've got Civilization, uh, Revolution. Uh, these were th all three for 10. Now this one's actually up there in price. It's not NCAA 14, but it's 13. 13 is still a hard to find one, still up there in price. But the baby, this game is worth like $130. It is a complete copy of, show it, show it. Of, uh, look, at, look, look at that. Boom! Def Jam Fight for New York on GameCube. Complete. I be sniping. Uh, I'm kind of in shock right now because I spent $3 on a hundred and some dollar game. And I will see you guys at our next stop. Woo! Just stopped at Salvation Army. I uh, didn't find anything at this stop. But I'm still in shock after finding... After finding a uh, Def Jam, Def Jam Fight for New York on the GameCube, it's like a hundred dollar game. That was just a nuts find. I'm waiting for Josh to get out. This guy calls me. I, I love messing with with the with the phone scammers. They always call. They want to give me money. They want they want to give me money for the business, and I'm always like. I need some money for the business and it's always this funny joke and he's like would you how much money do you need and I said I need 10,000 pounds and he's like <laughs> he's like no we only do US dollars I'm like I need 10,000 yen he's like no US dollars and then I'm like 10,000 euros and he just busts out laughing <laughs> and then he eventually hung up on me but uh it's just funny anywho as soon as Josh gets out I'll show you guys what he found. I just, I had to share that story. Um, <laughs> stop calling me, asking me if I need money for the business because I do not need money for the business. I don't need no money for the business. Okay, why does this Iron Mike Tyson shirt I look? I know, it's nice. Well, uh, it looks like a newer, it's a newer Is that Mike. Scarface or is that not Scarface? Oh no, but it, it looks newer. I don't know. Graphic looks cool on it. And this then, one, what this is this? Older. Kids M&M. New York City? Oh yeah. Wait. It's like $150. Hold on, did that come from New York? Yeah, this I was, a, I was in one. that store. I was in the M&M store in New York. We bought stuff there. I wanted to, I should have grabbed more stuff for it, but I didn't. But yeah, here's Josh's finds, and we'll see you guys at that next stop. So I just stopped at Cash America over there and picked up W2K16 for $2. Didn't really want this, but it was two bucks. And I've been on an Xbox One and PS4 kick. If I didn't tell you before, uh, there's a bunch of games in the back. I'm currently buying out an entire GameStop of stuff, um, which you'll see that in, in a few months uh, when I do uh, season five of the Kucharskis. Um, there, I got a bunch of stuff I'm filming for that. Uh, so that's a little sneak peek. Coming soon, Aaron buys out a GameStop. Anyway, 
W2K16, two dollars. Woo. Just hit another little mini score. There's nothing amazing as compared to the last stop. Um, but I did pick up a couple of good things. We've got Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. There's Left 4 Dead 1. There's Left 4 Dead 2. They were $3 a piece, $3 and change a piece. And then we got a Vita Charger. What? Vita Charger for $2. Woo! Woo! So while we were here, I ran into somebody that, that comes to the flea market a lot. One of Josh's buddies. And he sold me for $14. I got all of this. There's a Madden. There's a NFL Street, which is good. Uh, there's a GameCube, a 007 game in there. But the best game in the lot that made that made me pay him 14 because those aren't completely worth it. Yoshi's Island. I'll get 15 for just this. Whoa. Just stopped at Value Pond. We're now in Tampa, and they had really cheap movies. I couldn't. He doesn't have enough movies. Yeah, I couldn't resist. I got these were five for a buck, and they're Blu-rays. And then over here we got. I got some season sets. I got Sopranos, and then I got a few other different season sets. Now they know you already have. But uh, oh yeah, I got oh yeah, I got three thousand movies. Cause somebody, I won't mention names, but somebody sold me three thousand movies, and I got stuck with them. Sucker. So I just stopped way back over there. There was a garage sale in someone's backyard, actually, um, and I picked this up for fifty cents. It is a twentieth anniversary Rays Cup, cause you can see the thing on the side that says twenty, and then the other side it says inaugural season. So these are kind of cool. Uh, it's actually, right there, twenty eighteen. Which, by the way, the Rays made it to the World Series this year, which I'm, I'm representing uh, my, my old work shirt. But uh, anyway, yeah, they made it to the World Series. They just happened to lose this year to the Dodgers, which kind of sucked. So better luck next year. Woo! What did you do and how much were they? What did you do, Josh? How much were these? Okay, I see they're marble bags. How much were, how much were they, Josh? Really? Are you serious? Wow. Well, Josh got the score of a lifetime for the Marlboro Man. So we took a lunch break at my favorite barbecue place in Tampa, Kojak's. And then we went over here. We went over here to a thrift store. Josh and they're buying stuff. Uh, yeah, I noticed you just said that it's all right. Um, they had a wrestler that ate there one time. His name was The Rock. So I don't know if you ever heard of Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but uh, yeah. So he eats at Kojak. So so if the Rock eats at Kojak's, then we need to eat at Kojak's. What'd you pick up, Josh? We got. Well, I didn't find anything at this place. We have a starter Nebraska Husky. A starter Nebraska Husky. Vintage. And then we got that, whatever this. Is. I don't know what the, this is. A cool shirt. What's it, what's it look it's like? Got a cool graphic. Oh. Well, yeah, that's definitely Forever 21 material. Anywho, I'll see you guys at the next stop. We're heading back to the store. Just stopped at a value pond right there. Didn't, oh, sorry for the mask. But, um, yeah, didn't pick up anything. They had a Red Dead Redemption 2, Battlefield 2. But a couple of the guys in here, they always look them up on GameStop. Like, oh, it's $39.99 at GameStop. So they go off of that price, and they're probably going to expect me to pay 30 or 35 um, Red Dead's going for like 20 to $25 on eBay. So the most I could pay for that is 10 And obviously they're not going to go to 10 So anyway, enough rambling. I will see you guys at our next stop. Just made it back to the store. I bought a few more games from GameStop because I mentioned earlier I am buying out of GameStop. You'll find out more about that later. A lot later, actually. But, uh... Yeah, we're here, and we're back at the store. Woo. Okay, so this is today's finds. We got some box sets. We got some Blu-rays, uh, more games from GameStop. But this was the baby of the day. We got Def Jam, Fight for New York, Mint Complete, Mint Complete on the GameCube. I'm going to get a hundred and some odd dollars just for that. That was a $3 game, by the way. Oh, Mama K, say hi to everybody. Give me a second. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. Okay, anywho, this will conclude 
this week's garage sale episode. I will see you guys next week for more garage sales. Woo.